That's tough. Can we circle back around? I'm trying to think. Oh, no. wow. Oh, I might pass on that one and come back to it. What's the most intimidating MLS stadium? I uh, hate playing in Orlando. The fans are right on top of you, slinging vile words at you, throwing beer at you, so uh, yeah, I don't like playing there. Kansas City for me, it's always hot and humid, which makes it difficult for us. Their fans are, are re really into the game and they're really close, right? They're, they're right in, uh, onto the field and all those things create a, a difficult environment. The most intimidating stadium, just by sheer size, is probably Atlanta's stadium. Puede ser del Atlanta. I think it's Atlanta. I think it's the stadium that me, me, me has surprised to go to play there. Atlanta is a stadium impressive. Once you're in it, it feels so massive. I think there are 70,000 people, an affection incredible that always is animating the 90 minutes. I think it's one of the affections that are the most intimidating and that have most drawn my attention. I think I have gotten over the intimidation factor uh, 12 years in. Portland was pretty intimidating when I was young. I think as I got older, I kind of started to embrace it. Bueno, creo que el de Seattle fue, fue un partido muy lindo. Y, o, o Portland o Seattle, yo creo. Just atmosphere-wise, Portland. Was there, they always have their stadium full, and uh, it's always banging and super loud there. You can't really hear anything. What song do you want to be played in the stadium when you score? Ooh, maybe God's Plan, you know? I like the, just, you know, the title of that song. That's tough. See, if I knew this question was coming, I could definitely have a great answer for it. Can we circle back around to that? <laughs> no, buena, buena pregunta, pero me encanta la que ponen en el gas y la de po, po, da, po, 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 po. Oh, esa me encanta, esa canción me encanta, esa me encanta. Rompe, de Daddy Yankee. Sí, puede ser, puede ser que improvise algún paso. <laughs> we have goal songs for every player whenever we score in our stadium. Mine currently is uh, another one bites the dust, Queen. I don't know, now that I'm, I'm in Texas, I think I'd have to pick some kind of Toby Keith song. It would fit the mold right now, so I don't know, maybe a beer for my horses. Beer for my horses. I mean, it's, it's gotta be something that, that the whole crowd kind of can can join in, but it can't be a cliche. No quiero ser muy, cu muy cursi, pero el hino de mi país. Para mí no es que sea una música normal, pero si pudiera en todo el mundo, sí, esa. I mean, the first one that came to mind is, is a cliche, but it's like Welcome to the Jungle. Especially if I'm going with this kind of like Labrador lion main look, like. Oof, that's tough. I don't know, man. That, that, man, you put me in the spot there. Just give me some, give me a good little reggaeton song, you know? You know, or some J Balvin. <laughs> bueno, cualquiera así un poco de reggaeton que anime un poco. El ambiente. Oh, maybe, honestly, I'm really liking Peaches from Justin Bieber lately. I'm from Georgia, so that line, Peaches down in Georgia. I like that. That would be nice. We've got the Venga boys right now. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of enjoying that one. It's managed to find its way to the stadium, so, I mean, I'm quite happy with that one right now. What's your go-to snack before a match? I'm pretty basic with a little uh, avocado toast with some eggs on top. People might judge, but it's, it's a good breakfast uh, option. Some toast with peanut butter and bananas on it. Well, I need all the energy, I need all the carbs that, that I can get. Un pan con, con Nutella y siempre mi cafecito. Me tomo un, un, un par de café antes de, de jugar. Y... Antes, antes, tomarme café. Una barrita de cereal y un café. Si no como banana, eh, con la barrita de cereal la acompaño con un café, capaz. En Argentina comía mucho, muchas pastas. Siempre antes de jugar, jugábamos a las 4 de la tarde, al mediodía comía, a las 12 del mediodía comía pastas. Trato de comer siempre pasta. Comer una buena pasta para tener una buena energía. No, pues creo que siempre unas gomitas. Sí, no, no unas gomitas que son como energéticas, más o menos, que nos dan así en los equipos. Nada, después pues son barras de chocolate que nos dan ante los partidos para los calambres y todo tipo de cuestiones físicas que nos ayudan durante los 90, 95 minutos de lo que dura el partido. Sí, bueno, suelo beber sobre todo algo de bebida isotónica o algo de esto, a veces alguna vez alguna barrita de chocolate o algo de eso. Siempre tratar de comer bien al mediodía y, y después a la tarde tomar unos mates. Sí, mate tomo todos los días y antes de los partidos también tomo. Um, soup.